Hi, everybody. Welcome to Trees' World. Um, today, I'm going to see a big aqueduct um, at, oh, I'm going to pronounce this, but it's Welsh, Clangollen, or is it Clangoffen? I don't know how you pronounce two L's. It's L-L-A-N-G-O-L-L-E-N. So um, it's only about half an hour away from this campsite. As you can so, see, um, I'm going to draw this window down. Does it make any difference? Can you see? Oh, raining. It is raining. That's why my hair looks um, all kind of like wild. <laughs> so let's see how I get on. And you ladies out there, uh, I did a bit about driving. Um, yeah, I'm going to a new place and I still get anxious about it. You won't ever overcome that kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm digressing from the from the aqueduct. But anyway, um, like I said, I when I'm traveling, I've got the RAC, if I break down, I've got my phone, I've got chargers, I've got God knows what else. So there's no real reason for me to be a bit stressy about going anywhere, says me. It's just a woman thing, isn't it? We worry about everything. Anyway, let's get on the road. This is the kind of thing that causes me more stress than a motorway. It says uh, for vehicles only six foot six wide, and there's a little bridge over there. So um, I don't come across things like this on the motorway. <laughs> okay, I got over the bridge all right. And um, I found the little tea rooms uh, this chap told me about and um, it's the chapel tea rooms. Okay, you can see the van part behind me just there. And then just here, just here there, there we go. Um, it's a chapel. And um, you go in there and pay for the parking. But if you're gonna have a cup of tea, or cake or whatever, then the parking's free. So I've been in there, had a cup of tea and a bit of cake, and I met this lovely couple called Pete and Joe. So I've had a lovely chat with them, um, and I like to say hello to them because they've been trying to um, sh tell me how to say the word. Oh God, I'm going to say it now, everybody. Okay, I've been, I've been practicing. Look, we wrote it on a, on a tissue, look, because it's Welsh. This is the um, uh, aqueduct that I'm going to see. It is called the, oh God, Poncasacte. Poncasacte aqueduct. And it was um, engineered by, um, Oh God, who's it engineered by? Thomas Telford. Oh dear, my memory is terrible. And um, he was born in 1757. So that's what, three or 400 years ago. In fact, I thought Thomas Telford was, um, I don't know, born in the 1800s. So um, this is an aqueduct that was um, engineered by him. It is not in the history of England in 100 places, but it is near this campsite, about half an hour away. So I thought I'd come and see it. As you can see, it's also stopped raining. Whoa. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, I'm going to get on with this visit before it starts raining again. So, an aqueduct obviously has water going over it. Um, it's a canal. And there we go. Behind me are boats. And I keep practicing saying this Pont Casacte. Pont Casacte. Oh, is that right? Pont... <laughs> oh, God. Pont... Pont Casacte uh, Aqueduct, not viaduct, aqueduct, because it has a canal going across it. A viaduct, I guess, has a train going over it. Is that right? I don't know, could be completely wrong. So, let's have a look at it. I'm really excited about this. And um, Thomas Telford, he was um, famous for engineering um, um, bridges and canals and things like this, evidently, as far as I know. Oh, I really should read up more before I do these vlogs. Okay, I'm going to read this. Um, built by Thomas Telford, 1795 to 1805. There are 18 piers made of local stone, the central ones over the D being 126 foot high up to the ironwork. The canal runs through the iron trough 1,007 foot long, 11 foot 10 wide and 5 foot 3 deep. The largest in Britain, the iron was supplied by William Hazeldine from his foundries at Shrewsbury and and nearby Keffen Mark Moore. Total cost 47,000. Water is fed from the Dee at the Horseshoe Falls at Clan Thistlow, wherever that is, near 
Clan Gothland. Did I pronounce that right? I don't know. Okay, this is the top of the aqueduct. As you can see, it's only wide enough for one boat. Can you see it ahead there? So, do I, do I walk across it? Okay, let's give it a go. I'll tell you what, this is high up and I do feel open to the elements that side. Ooh. Um, I don't know whether I do want to walk right across it. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit, actually. I don't know why, it's because there's no fence on that right-hand side. Look. I mean, what if there was suddenly a gust of wind? <laughs> I suppose I'd just fall into the canal bit. <sighs> oh, here's a mess. Here we go, the boats are coming along. They look amazing. They look kind of, yeah, it looks all very relaxing. But um, yeah. Oh, look at this view over here. Oh God, I feel a bit, it is high. I think it's because it's not got no fence. You know, and you do feel like a bit vulnerable. It is amazing though, wow. Hello! <laughs> I tell you what, I'm just like, yeah, it is a bit freaky. Hello. There we go. There you go. Oh, it just feels high. Okay, I am going to be a wimp. I'm not going to walk right across there. I can't walk the across water, there. Will you keep the selfie no, going? Yeah, I would actually. There we go. Oh. Hello. <laughs> are you on holiday? Yes. Are you? Yep. Okay. Yeah, Where are you from? Like, just because I started on there, I'm not in me. What did it know. say? Alcatraz. Alcatraz. Are you right there? <laughs> yeah, from Red Car. Good memory. From Red Car. Oh, good memory. Oh, look, he's got a broken arm. <laughs> oh, dear. How did you do that? Uh, he fell over. Slipped over. Yeah, too much to drink. Back on. No drink. No drink. <laughs> no, well, you can't even say that. <laughs> I tell you what, have you been across there? Yes. That's how we got over here. Oh, I can't do it actually, because it just felt, I feel really vulnerable. Looking at that side, I think, oh God, no. I'd... <laughs> just freaking yeah. me out a bit. Anyway, yeah, just... that's good. On the top, what's that to give you a better light? light? Yeah, I can just, yeah, because it's a bit dull, isn't it, today? I can oh, make it bloody... really bright. What a bloody pause there. I know. Yeah. Oh my God. That's do you good, do isn't YouTube? It? I bet you don't do YouTube. Yeah, I do, do you? YouTube. Do you? Yeah. Well, look up Teresa's World. Teresa's Think of World. Think Teresa May and Teresa's World. Look that up. She got, she got metric head. You're gonna, you're gonna be on it. I, I'm gonna put you on then on my videos. Um, Teresa's World. Teresa's World. Yeah. Oh, look at. No, he's got it all. T. Hey. Oh my God, he's just found my. <laughs> <laughs> this is freaky. <laughs> <laughs> you silly woman. <laughs> you silly I Teresa. Know, do you know, do you know, I do, I do these videos and then I forget, I forget that anybody and can just keep that in and find well. me. Yeah, you can subscribe. I got, how many have I got now? Oh, he says, he only says 347. I had, videos. I, had a, I had 350 this morning. I will have to have a look at that then, Teresa. Shall I put this on then? Do you mind going on my little... No, I, I, no, oh, I right. know, oh, they don't no. mind, so I've got... No, it's not as if we on the dole or escaped or anything okay, like that. Okay, no one's after you. Yeah, nobody's after us, not as we no, well we, know it. We signed okay. on last week, so we're clear yeah. now. Oh, yes. there we go. <laughs> right, so, you, so you can, you, you're going you're oh, to put that on... Great. Yeah, 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 you'll see yourself. So what's oh, your name? So, so well, your I name hope is... you have a nice time. Yeah, so your name is... My name's Eddie, and that's Ron. Ron. So Eddie and Ron. Yes, nice and the girls, that's Ron's partner who's... Who's there on the tiller at the Oh, moment. well, get the girls to have a look because I yeah. inspire women to do things on their own. You know, to just get out there, get in a the van and do it. <laughs> and how do you pronounce this um, aqueduct? Here we go. How do you say it? <laughs> I always call it, call it the Pontesilac. But I've been talking to a lovely couple with Pete and Joe, and they told me it's Ponkasakte. Well, Ponka did they have, did they have a drink? <laughs> That's well, Ponkasakte. How can you Ponkasakte? Ponkasakte, yeah, pon, pon, Ponkasakte. Aqueduct.
There we go, practice it. <laughs> they must have been having a drink when they spelt it. Anyway, I'm going to say bye bye. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah, take care. Yeah. Check me out. Oh, yeah. well, you have. <laughs> Don't be flippant, darling. <laughs> My yeah. mission now is to get a decent photo of this aqueduct. Ah, here I am. I remember this bridge. <laughs> oh dear. I think this is as good as I'm going to get. Um, the trees are hiding it. Ah, oh, there's a boat going across now. I better take a picture of that. Wish I could take a picture showing the whole length of this aqueduct, but the trees are all in the way. Too much foliage, so much foliage, it really is um, blocking the view of this magnificent structure. Well, that's my opinion. So I'm going to say bye now from, that's how you spell it, God knows, I really struggle to say it, um, the Ponkasukte Aqueduct. Okay, bye-bye everybody. Hope you've enjoyed this. Trees is wild. <laughs>